What is going on? I've got five different Leatherman multi-tools I'm going to be showing you. Let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start with the multi-tool that I think is the least useful, and then we're going to end with the most useful multi-tool. So make sure you stick around to the end, because the last two are pretty freaking sweet. But the one we're going to start with here is the Leatherman Bond, and this multi-tool here is actually the one that I own and carry on a daily basis. And it has held up very well. This is actually one of Leatherman's more budget options when it comes to multi-tools. You can get these brand new for around $60 to $70. And for around that price, I think it's pretty good. So let's just kind of, let's just go over some of the tools it has. We got the Phillips head screwdriver. We got the bottle opener. And then we got the drop point blade, of course. And then on the other side here, we have the file which has two different sides you can use we got like a pride tool and we got a flathead screwdriver and then this tool here i'm not really 100 percent sure what it is used for but uh, it's for puncturing scraping perhaps threading you can use this hole to thread like rope through fabric I'm not really sure. I know a lot of different Leathermans have this tool. If you actually know what this tool is used for, let me know in the comments. And then, of course, we got the typical Leatherman needle nose pliers. On this model, the wire cutters are not interchangeable. So, once those have been worn down, you're kind of shit out of luck there. But I don't use them a whole lot. I mainly use them for busting plastic straps, which they work great for that. But if you do use wire cutters a lot, I would probably recommend getting a multi-tool with or a Leatherman with the replaceable wire snips. Actually, one last thing that you can use this Leatherman for, it does have a fully functioning ruler on the underside of it. Alright, so this next Leatherman on the list is the Leatherman Rebar. This is basically a little bit of an upgraded version to the Leatherman Bond. Let's start with the tools we got on this thing. So, typical drop point blade. We have the pry bar. We have the flathead screwdriver. We have the hole punch slash threader slash scraper. And then this is a lanyard loop. The Leatherman Bond, it does have a lanyard loop. I just forgot to show it. This side, we got two different saw blades. We got that one. And then we got get it out this one not really sure what the difference is between the two which one would be used for what if you happen to know that let me know in the comments and then we have the phillips screwdriver and then of course the bottle opener the pliers on this one does have the replaceable uh wire cutters up to an eight inch ruler on this one which goes in which has centimeters as well Another feature this Leatherman has that the Leatherman Bond does not have is that it locks. These are the locking mechanisms for it. So if you open the blade, the blade is not going anywhere until you press this lock, which is a pretty innovative design. These do cost a little bit more than the Leatherman Bonds. Alright, and then the next Leatherman I have here to show you, this is the Leatherman Wave. This one is a bit of an upgrade from the last one. Let's just get right into the tools we got on this one. So something cool about this one, this actually has a bit holder, which has two different bits. I think you can actually buy more bits for these, which is pretty cool. The bits are just held in with this little retention pin you can see there, but first of all bits. Phillips and flathead, which is pretty cool. And then yes, we do have the locking mechanism on this one as well. And then on this side, we also have the bottle opener. Uh, if I can even get to it. We have the bottle opener. We have the ruler as well. 
this one's cool because the blades are on the outside so you can access both blades without opening the Leatherman and the blades do lock as well but they have a liner lock or a frame lock I'm not sure what you would call that it's kind of like a frame lock I guess but super easy to access with one hand also fairly easy to deploy with one hand and then on this side we have the saw blade which is kind of the same deal the pliers have the replaceable wire cutters on this one as well got a few different tools of course we got the pry tool we got another bit driver let's see oh this is a smaller phone slash knife bit driver We've got the reversible phillips small phillips and small flathead pretty handy one thing the last two did not have were scissors and i think the scissors like a good pair of scissors are pretty crucial on a leatherman i don't have the scissors on the leatherman that i ended up buying the leatherman bond which I do kind of regret buying a Leatherman without scissors, and these just seem like a very good set of multi-tool scissors. Not gonna lie, and then they fold nicely just right back into the handle, of course, like all the other tools. It's just the Leatherman Wave Plus. And now we're on to the last two Leathermans I'm going to show you. This is the Leatherman Free P2, and the reason why I saved this one for one of the last ones is because I think this one is actually my personal favorite. This one here has a few more tools, I think, but this one is my first, this one is my personal favorite because it has the pocket clip, it has the easy one-handed smooth action slash like access. It can't. It can be closed one-handed as well, it's just not as easy, but it has really smooth, the pivots run on magnets, so you can kind of open it like a butterfly knife, which is super cool. The only multi-tool on the market that I know of that you can do that. And then, so yeah. Also another awesome thing about this one that is superior to the other ones, is that the, all of the tools are accessible without opening the handle. So every single tool is accessible and they all lock. So saw, we have the typical knife blade with the partially serrated edge. And the lock is this type of lock here which is very easily accessible with one hand. The blade is also very easily deployed with one hand. Let's see if any of the other tools are can't really deploy any of the other tools one-handed, but it's not really necessary to be able to do that, in my opinion. So yeah, we got the flat head. Oh, so you deploy the tools from these little hooks here you can use. So yeah, we got the Phillips, we got the flat head, slash little wood scraper, slash... So what is this tool? This is like a flat head. This is like a pry bar slash flat head. Maybe you can use it for whittling. This little like edge on here is kind of sharp. You can use it to scrape. Interesting little tool there. And then this side we got several tools. We got the little file with another flat head pry tool. We got another flat head pry tool. Which has a little ruler on the inside has a couple has two inches with a few centimeters i'm not really sure like what that little thing is <laughs> then we also have what else see so yeah, another pry tool and then we got a another flathead tool <laughs> With the puncture, with the inside scraper edge, it's like a, it's like that puncturing scraper tool on the other ones. And then, of course, the bottle opener slash. You can also use that for scraping or what other, whatever other things you want. And then, 
this one also has a pretty good pair of scissors which is pretty awesome and that concludes all the tools for this one man I really want to get one of these I think definitely would be an upgrade to the Leatherman Bond which I now own and carry I'm a freaking EDC gear YouTuber and I carry a budget Leatherman I think I might need to step up my game but And then I saved this one for last because it has the most tools on it. Probably the most practical. It's a little bit more bulky than the other ones. This is the Leatherman Super Tool 300. I dig the color. We get the desert tan. And I like the finish on here. It's got like a, I feel like it's like a coating. It feels nice. It looks nice. It does have these nice locks on here like the Wave Plus. Okay, so these pliers look a little bit more beefy than the other ones. And the action is just a little more stiff. I feel like these pliers are probably a little bit more heavy duty. Though I'm not sure what that is for. This hole, these holes, I'm not sure what these holes are for. Maybe there's like some sort of tool you can insert there to... Yeah, I don't know. Someone let me know what these holes are for in the comments. But okay, let's get into the the tools on here. Of course, we got the saw blade. We got this. Okay, this is an interesting one. I haven't seen this on the other ones. It's like a nail puller. Like a nail puller slash pry tool. Pretty sweet. I could see that being handy. And then we do have another flathead pry tool. It's like a flathead screwdriver. Flathead screwdriver slash pry tool. On this side we have the typical drop point Leatherman blade. We have the double sided file. We have the interchangeable bit driver, flathead and Phillips. We have the bottle opener. We have the lanyard hole, lanyard loop. All of the tools lock into place and can be unlocked by pressing this here. Not the smoothest of functionality, but This one does have the ruler as well, goes up to 8 inches, er, goes up to 10 inches on this one actually, this one is a little bigger. So if I had to pick one of these Leathermans to carry with me every day, I'm thinking I would choose the Leatherman Free P2. I think it has all the tools you would need, it has the scissors, it has two different blades, it has the excellent pliers, it has the interchangeable wire cutters, it has the pocket clip, the action is smoother than all the rest, and it has several different pry tools, so if you need to pry something, this thing's got you covered. <laughs> but. Not for real. I think this one is probably the most practical for EDC carry out of these. If you want to just factor in the action and the pocket clip, without those two, I would say these two are also probably just as practical and excellent. And I'm not going to lie, this is also a really great multi-tool. I just think it's not really my style. It's a little bit too bulky and it really doesn't have like the tool options are pretty much the same compared to these ones and it's more bulky I'm not sure why maybe it's just made to handle more harder harder stuff and like the action just feels less smooth just feels less like a pleasure to be using yeah. this is the one I carry on a regular basis and I do use it on a daily basis at work I mean I don't use it a whole lot I work in a construction environment and 
I admit I have a lot of other tools that I use over this, but if I need to bust some plastic straps or if I don't have a screwdriver on me or I usually always bust this out, but the main thing I use on this is probably the pliers. I probably would use the knife a bit more, but I usually carry another folding knife with me that I use. And at work, I actually use a razor, a razor blade, so. Alright guys, that's it for this video. That's all the Leatherman multi-tools I have to show you. Let me know which out of these is your favorite and you're most likely to carry in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my daily EDC content.